viewers russian mig 29 and turkish f16 uh, which are basically american both are outstanding fighter jets but how do they compare uh, i am not an expert to compare their specifications but i can compare them from a strategic point of view that in the present circumstances in libya uh, how will they perform i can have a look at this question viewers <clears throat> i thought of making this video viewers because yesterday when i uploaded my video about that press release uh, from africom regarding the presence of russian fighter jets to back hector forces after that i saw some heated discussion on my channel uh, among my viewers about uh, these mig 29 and uh, f16 turkish fighter jets so i thought of drawing a little comparison viewers firstly viewers even the best of machines are useless without skilled operators operators matter a lot pilots who are comfortable with their fighter jets who have proper skill and training they matter a lot viewers here turkey has a little advantage viewers though turkish air force is newer in comparison to uh, russian air force but turkey uh, has signed an mou with uh, the government of hayez saraj so turkey can officially deploy its f16 fighter jets here in libya and its pilots can fly these fighter jets here on the other hand viewers the russians they deny that these fighter jets are russian so it will be uh, difficult for them to deploy their pilots to fly these mig 29 fighter jets so if uh, russians cannot uh, deploy their official and their trained uh, uh, pilots to fly these mig 29 uh, fighter jets uh, i think russians will be at a disadvantage viewers second thing viewers uh, here uh, russia has an advantage that russian mig 29 they are using the air bases al jufra and al khadim so they are there they are safe they are secure on the other hand viewers Turkish F-16, they don't have a safe place uh, so far in Libya. Alvatia is under construction. Operations are going on in, in, around Alvatia to make uh, this uh, airbase secure, but so far it is not secure for Turkish F-16 fighter jets. Other airports used by GNA like uh, Mizrata and uh, Mitiga in, in Tripoli. Mitiga is under. Mitiga has been under uh, targets from LNA shells and artillery fires there, and here Mizrata is within the direct range, direct hitting range of Hector forces. So no place is uh, safe for the deployment of F-16 fighter jets of Turkey viewers. On the other hand, viewers, Turkish F-16 cannot fly from Turkey to Libya in one fueling. They they have to be refueled in the air. Though Turkey does have this refueling capacity. but for every offensive if turkish f16 have to come from turkey refueling and and hitting then going back it it won't be easy for them so they must have uh, a secure air base which they don't have right now uh, on the other hand uh, russians they have this jufra and uh, this this khadim air base so here russian mig 29 they have an advantage then viewers third point it is also very important point that Uh, in case uh, a fight starts between MiG-29 and uh, Turkish F-16, this fight will not involve just dog fights. They will uh, target uh, each other's facilities, each other's interests. For example, Turkish frigates in the Mediterranean they will also be targeted, and the supply route of GNA. GNA gets most of its supplies uh, through the Mediterranean uh, from Turkey. these supplies will also be targeted by russian mig 29 on the other hand viewers lna gets its supplies through uh, egypt eastern side of uh, libya eastern border of libya and it won't be easy for turkish f16 to reach those areas and target the supply routes of lna because if that happens egyptian air force might be involved here so that is why here also uh, russia has an advantage over turkey i think in these circumstances russia is better placed than turkey that is why turkey has decided to stop its uh, drone strikes uh, 